All right, so we're looking at the muscles of the uh, lower extremity, basically the lower portion of the lower extremity leading into the foot. Uh, we'll start off here laterally. You'll see that there are two muscles here uh, that you, you can visibly see laterally running along the fibula. So here's the fibula right here. So this is actually running along the fibula. So these are called the fibularis muscles. There are three fibularis muscles. The first one right here, running all the way down like that, is the fibularis longus. Right below the fibularis longus is this other muscle right here, coming down and running along there, and that of course is the fibularis brevis. So that would be the fibularis brevis. There is also a fibularis tertius, which would be running along here, and coming down to about this point and then cutting across like that. So this is actually part of the fibularis tertius right here. Uh, it has been cut, so you don't see it right here. So there are several muscles that are cut here. One of them, of course, is the fibularis tertius, which again comes down and then cuts across here. Uh, you can see uh, this extensor coming over here, this extensor retinaculum. Uh, you have the superior and inferior uh, extensor retinaculum right there. Uh, so we'll come back over here. Uh, as we move downward, there should be another muscle coming down here, going off to the side of this, and then coming down and extending all the way towards the digits. So this, of course, would be the extensor uh, digitorum longus. So that would be the extensor digitorum longus going down and extending down to the foot. Now, of course, if this is the longus coming down, where's the brevis? Well, the brevis are these smaller muscles here coming off the top of the foot and then going all the way and heading towards the digits here. And those would be the brevis right here. Now, uh, there's another muscle that has also been cut that would run down this way and then come down and actually attach to the big toe here. Uh, and that, of course, would be the extensor hollicis longus, uh, which, would, which would come down and actually attach here. Now, what you'll see is there's another muscle right here that's coming right off the top of the foot and going towards the big toe. You can see the little tendon right there, and that's the extensor hollicis brevis right there, and that's what that is right there. Now, as we turn the the leg a little bit more, we'll see that this muscle right here comes down and goes to the side here. Uh, this is the uh, tibialis anterior right there, so that's what that is. And then we'll turn this a little bit more to the side. You can see here's the tibia, keep turning it, and then we get to the back of the leg. Now, on here there are several muscles that have been cut and removed. Uh, the first set of muscles that you would normally see more superficial would be the gastrocnemius muscles. The gastrocnemius uh, would actually be attached here uh, at these two points uh, where you would have a medial head and a lateral head. Uh, and they would then come down and go across and head down to this end of here where the calcaneus bone is. And they would actually comprise uh, basically the calcaneus tendon. Now, there are three muscles that actually form the calcaneus tendon. All three have been cut here. This is why you don't see them. Uh, the first one, of course, is the gastrocnemius, which I've already talked about. Just below the gastrocnemius would then be the soleus, more of a flat muscle, um, kind of a sole, kind of a thin, uh, flat muscle. Uh, and then in the middle of the gap between the gastrocnemius, medial head, and lateral head would then be the uh, plantaris, which would then come down and then would basically be a muscle about that big, and then it would form a tendon, and it would run down to there. And again, the three muscles that form the calcaneus tendon would be the gastrocnemius, the soleus, and the plantaris. All three of those have been uh, cut away, so you don't really see those. What you do see is the deeper muscles that are here in the posterior part of the leg. So for instance, this muscle right here that's coming across, this muscle that comes across here is the popliteus. Okay, and it's going in this popliteal region, which is why it is known as the popliteus. Now, if we move downwards here, uh, we'll actually see uh, these three muscles here. Now, again, remember that when you're looking at the leg, at this point, we're looking at the back of the leg. This is the lateral side. This is the medial side. So again, on the lateral side here, we have, again, the fibularis, uh, the lung, and the brevis. So this is the fibularis longus here and the fibularis brevis here. Okay, now over top here, next to the fibularis longus and brevis, we have this muscle right here that comes down, but interestingly enough, it actually cuts across. So it comes down and then cuts across to get to the medial side. Okay, uh, this muscle right here that does that is the flexor hollicis longus. So that's going to be the flexor hollicis longus coming across and going down like that. Now, this muscle right here that comes straight down on the medial side right here. 
This is the flexor digitorum longus. This muscle right here coming down like that. That would be the flexor digitorum longus. In between the flexor hallucis longus and the flexor digitorum longus is this muscle right here, which is the tibialis posterior. So that's what that is. That's the tibialis posterior. And it would come down and literally come down. You see it heading down like that for me, tending right there. Okay? All right, when we come back, we will have the, the foot, the rest of the foot, and then we'll talk about the blood vessels and the nerves.